28th and October 1st. For tickets and showtimes, go to fathomevents.com. Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where we're spending the day with the gal with the million dollar legs. That's Betty Grable. Grable had ample opportunity to show off her highly valued assets, dancing and musicals. She made a bunch of them, many we've been showing throughout the day. Coming up next, we have another from 20th Century Fox in 1945. It's the Dolly Sisters. It's a fictionalized account of the lives of the real Dolly Sisters, who found success as dancers in the 1920s, eventually making a name for themselves in Europe as well. The real sisters were twins, and they were dark-haired, not blonde, like Betty Grable. But when has Hollywood ever let the facts get in the way of good storytelling, or more importantly, effective marketing? Producer George Jessel, who actually knew the real Dolly sisters, cast two of Fox's most talented and blondest starlets for the leads, Grable, the studio's biggest box office draw, and June Haver, a promising newcomer who looked very much like Betty Grable. Grable had never faced any real competition for parts during her reign at Fox, but she knew Haver had talent and was being groomed by Fox studio head Daryl Zanuck for stardom. So for the first time, Grable felt threatened and it showed on the set. Instead of her usual easygoing demeanor, Grable often argued with director Irving Cummings. She was even combative with the crew at times. Fortunately, none of the tension on set showed up in the final product. The movie was a big hit. Musical numbers were widely praised. The song, I Can't Begin to Tell You, earned an Oscar nomination. With her contract up for renewal, Grable was pleased to see Zanuck still valued her when he offered her a new salary of $300,000 a year, making Betty Grable the highest paid female entertainer in the world. From 1945, also starring John Payne and S.E. Sakal, here's the Dolly Sisters. 